Hey, Bullet Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, it's a hat night. I know some of you guys hate hats. I'm sorry, but I didn't feel like doing my hair. Um, so I have a featured seller video for you guys. And did I say, hey, Bullet Buddies, thanks for watching? I don't think I did. <laughs> hey, Bullet Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, sorry about that. Um, Maybe I did. Now I can't remember. I don't know. It's almost midnight. Like I was planning on doing these videos like two hours ago and I totally got sidetracked. And you know, it's just been one of those crazy days. And I'm going to tell you how my day started off. And I know this has nothing to do with the video, but I lost a hat in somewhere in my house, a hat. So I had to cancel an order on eBay and I'm so upset about it. But um, yeah, I probably spent an hour of my life looking for that hat today and I never found it. And it was an $8 hat, which is very, very frustrating. Okay, so tangent over. Let's get started with some bolos. I am featuring Kevin from the Thrifting Lounge and he does have a Facebook group. I'm going to show you guys that real quick. It is linked in the description. Let me pull this up. So... Facebook group looks like this. If you type the thrifting lounge into Facebook, it'll pull it up or you can go down to the description and it will, um, it will be posted there also. He also has a YouTube channel and it is the thrifting lounge again. And he has a bunch of reseller type videos. So definitely go check that out. I know from talking to him that he took a little break from YouTube, but he is back and in action and ready to get some new subscribers. So his link is down in the description of the video. And we are going to start with some of his bolos. Go back here. Make sure that we are ready to go. We are. And let's see what he sold. He's got some good bolos, guys. So. All right, the first item is this Revolutionary War, Massachusetts, and it's a written signed letter, and it says 1822. So you, let me see if I can get it to zoom up here. So if you guys have not seen my paper video, my bolo category, don't throw these paper items away, definitely go check that one out. It's a really good one because a lot of things get thrown away that sell for big money. Um, but he got this on. Well, I thought it said eBay. Paid 40. No, maybe not. Just says paid 40 and sold for 119. So I apologize. He did not say where he picked this one up. Um, and then they paid the shipping. The buyer paid the shipping. So this is pretty cool. I want to say he got it on eBay, but I could be wrong. I know he does a lot of um, sourcing on other... Uh, platforms and then he resells them on eBay, which you'll see here shortly. So this is a, I am not a hundred percent sure how to say this. Brioni jeans, B-R-I-O-N-I. -I. And these jeans, he wrote in all caps and I'm having trouble reading it. Um, He paid $24 on eBay. Maybe this is the one I was thinking of. $24 on eBay and flipped them back on eBay. He said one of his favorite ways to sell on eBay. And he sold them for $90. So he bought them for $24 on eBay and sold them for $90 on eBay plus shipping. So, yeah, I've never even heard of this brand. Um, that's what it looks like. And they must be expensive jeans, so... The next item is this, another brand I've never heard of, and I'm probably going to say this totally wrong, Ermengildo, it's E-R-M-E-N-E-G-I-L-D-O, I'm going to zoom in, it looks like it's a Saks Fifth Avenue, it's where it's sold at, um, you guys see the tag down here, let me see if I can get you a close up, so there's the tag. Um, but I really think that his picture looks really, really good. Like it fits that mannequin perfectly. Um, this came from $7 at a thrift store. He got it for $7 at a thrift store. 
and he sold it for 80 plus shipping. All right, the next item, and again, lots of brands I've never heard of, and really hard to say names. Um, oh, I'm going to say this wrong too. Quellrayan. Quellrayan. It's Q U E L R A Y N. And it's a mohair wool overcoat. It's women's. It's vintage. It's from the 60s. It's pretty fantastic. Um, very, very cool. Let me see if there's a picture of the tag. So this is what um, the tag on the inside looks like made in England. And that's the. Uh, brand tag right there and he got this at an estate sale he paid one dollar for it you guys and it sold for a hundred and five so that is fantastic the next item is in the wrong order so we'll come back to that one is this ralph lauren tuxedo suit and again i think it's a really great picture but he got this at the Goodwill. He paid $8 and he sold it for $98 and the buyer paid shipping. I've heard of Ralph Lauren and I can say Ralph Lauren. <gasps> All right. Escada, I think is how you say this. This is a runway blazer suit. It's a two-piece set. Um, it says women's size 40. So I'm not really sure what size 40 um is actually oh okay USA 10 so it's a um, European size 40 and it's a USA 10 Escada and he got this at an estate sale he paid four dollars and it sold for 60 plus shipping these Nike um, Kobe low shoes Mamba is the style they are men's they're a size 10 and a half he bought them at the Goodwill for six and he sold them for $84 and the buyer paid shipping. Get you a couple close-ups there of what they look like. They're pretty wild looking. The next item is this vintage 1976. It's a Baba Black Sheep Corsair model airplane kit. And he got this at an estate sale for $5 and it sold for $68 plus shipping. And a lot of model kits can go really well. So if you see these, definitely, definitely look them up. Even if they're like already put together, some of those do well also. So it doesn't hurt to check solds. The next item is another, I think it's Brioni, Brioni, I'm not sure. But this one's a tie. And... plus shipping. So again, he bought it on a selling platform and resold it on a selling platform. This is super cool. I mean, I wouldn't wear it, but I think it's really neat. I probably would have priced this really, really high because I think it's really fantastic. It's a vintage Johnny Blair acid wash denim jean crop jacket skirt, and it's a women's size small. Here's the tag. What do you guys think about this? Comment below and let me know. Would you have priced this one higher? It doesn't look very comfortable, but it sure is fun. Uh, let's see. He got this at an estate sale for $3 and he sold it for $45 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage color block windbreaker track suit. It's women's size large. And he got this at... The Goodwill paid $5 for it and it sold for $36.99 plus shipping. This vintage Hornets starter jacket, and we all know that starter jackets can be a bolo, um, especially those satin ones. Those seem to do really, really well. But he picked this up at a local thrift store for $7 and sold it for $45.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Okay, so here's the one that I passed over. So it's a C.P. Gorez, Gorez, G-O-E-R-Z. And these are lens barrels for a Nikon camera. And yeah, pretty amazing. But he got these in an estate sale box that he paid $40 for. They sold within two hours for $1,260 plus shipping. 
and they went to J Japan through the GP GSP. Um, and there were other items in the box that he also sold. So yeah, he definitely scored big time on this one. Another Brioni or Brioni, however you say it. And again, just these look like they're tailored to these mannequins. I wonder if he has them like pinned in the back or if they're just the right size for his mannequin. Does anybody else think these like fit that mannequin perfect? Anyhow, uh, let's see. This came from, he got it on eBay for 23 and sold it right back on eBay for 205 plus they paid the shipping. How awesome is that? Now everybody's going to be going to look for that brand. <laughs> this Japanese kimono. And I have three of these listed. And I cannot sell mine for nothing. I'm so sick of looking at them. I just want them to sell. But mine are not this fancy. But he got this at... And I do think the scene on the back is what's selling it, this. He got it at the Goodwill for $8 and sold it for $130 plus shipping. All right, these Cutter Bill cowboy boots, and these are cool. They're a women's five and a half, six, which I'm guessing if these would have been in a bigger size, he probably could have got even more because those are super cool. Uh, let's see, where did he get it? He got um. He bought them from an animal rescue thrift, paid $2 and sold them for a hundred and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is just fun. It's vintage Just Katie blazer. It's from the eighties or nineties. It's like got an art deco look and again, looks fantastic on the mannequin. And he got this for $3. And sold it for 42 and the buyer paid the shipping. He did not say where he got that one. Another very cool one. This is vintage 60s disco rockabilly shirt, size medium. It's very, very cool. I really like it. Um, but it's vintage, vintage, vintage. I mean, look at that pattern and those, uh, the collar, definitely vintage. Uh, paid a dollar at an estate sale and sold it for 35 plus shipping. The next item is this new Tags TNN country music bomber jacket. It's got that satin look. Seems to like those satiny jackets do well. Uh, he paid $4.99 at the Salvation Army and it sold for $55 plus shipping. So very, very cool. And I'm going to take you into his store. It's called Suntree Antiques and Threads. And his uh, thriftaholic is his name. But I'm just going to show you some of the other things that he has. This is probably another lens from that $40 box he got. Um, yeah, he, he does really good with the suits. Like, I think he just really styles them well. So, really good pictures. And you can kind of see he's got a lot of clothing. Ooh, look at those. Those are funky. That looks like a Poshmark picture. So funny when I see stuff, I'm like, oh, that came from Posh. That was Posh first. And I know his girlfriend helps out also. Not sure. I know she's been editing and helping him with his YouTube, but I'm not sure if she helps him with his eBay store. So that could be. But yeah, pretty cool. So lots of clothes. If you guys would like to go and check out what else he has listed and what else he has sold, feel free to go down to the description of the video and click on that link. That will take you into his store. And if you want to do a little shopping, I'm sure he wouldn't mind. There's another lens. I wonder if that's a part of that box. So definitely very, very cool. Oh, look at that. How fun is that? All right. Again, the thrifting lounge, go subscribe, not subscribe. Um, join his group, his uh, Facebook group. I think it has 20,000 members. So it's a pretty big group. So should be um, a lot of good information over there. And his YouTube channel. Again, links are down in the description. Go check those out. Thank you all for being here and watching. I appreciate your time. I hope you learned something. And I'll see you guys all real soon. Uh, be sure to hit that thumb, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you made it this far in the video, say I made it to the end in the comments. 
I usually say that better. Comment below if you made it to the end. Thanks for watching.